Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a video of all the gear that I use to film. All my GoPro gear, all the attachments, everything I like, everything I don't like. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first uh, piece of equipment that I like to use when I'm filming is the Apteca X Grip stabilizer. That is this thing right here. I got this on Amazon for $20. You can use this for pretty much any camera that you buy as long as it has a tripod mount on the bottom of it. So, any camera that has this on the bottom of it, which most cameras do, you can mount to this. So what this does is you can hold on to it from here and it stabilizes your footage. So it's just a lot better than holding something freehand. Um, you can just, you, you hold on to it like this and keeps your hand steadier. Um, I think it works pretty good. I've seen reviews that say that they think it doesn't work good. But I, I enjoy it. I like it. I like filming with it. Um, when I'm filming, like, you know, I can hold it from the bottom like this and I hold it out in front of me. Or sometimes I flip it around and I put my GoPro right here and then I, I can vlog and hold it in front of me like this. So it just keeps the shot nice and stable. Um, prevents, you know, that shaky hand that you get. So yeah, this is the Opteca X Grip and I really like this. So I'll leave a link in the description for everything that I'm gonna review. The next piece of equipment that I really like to use, I already did a review of it. It is the um, UK Pro Pole, this thing right here. I really like using this a lot when I film. Again, it works as a GoPro stabilizer if you wanted to use it for that. Um, you can use it when you're snowboarding, surfing, pretty much any action sport. GoPro mounts right onto there. It's a really solid, nice, um, sturdy pole. It's a lot better than any of the other ones that I've had in the past, like the extendable ones. Unless you spend a lot of money on an extendable one, you're not really going to get that good of a pole. This doesn't extend. It's always out, so it's nice and solid. Good pole. Um, I really like it. Definitely would recommend this piece of, piece of equipment. Okay, and something else that I definitely recommend getting if you have a GoPro is a GoPro case. Something that you can keep your GoPro in, all your accessories, something to just keep everything organized and together. So... You have everything at all times, um, and the one that I got is called the, what is it called? It's called the Shinda Medium Water Resistant GoPro Case. So that is this thing right here. Um, it is, I like it a lot, as you can see right there, it shows that it's rain resistant and snow resistant. Um, it's a little bit smaller, it keeps everything, all my GoPro accessories, it keeps them nice and neat inside here, as you can see. I keep everything in here, um, including my GoPro, all the accessories. It has a zip pocket right here, so I keep my tripod in here, my adjustable tripod. Keep that in there, I also keep my um, water buoy in there for my GoPro. So it fits a lot of stuff, um, like I said, it keeps everything nice and neat and everything with you at all times, so you never have to say, oh, I forgot that at home, like everything's just always together, and it's just really nice to have, I, you know, any case really is going to do, do the job, this one I really like it, it's nice and solid, um, keeps everything nice and neat and organized, this I want to say was only like $10, I'll leave a link in the description for you if you want to check this out, uh, but yeah, and then... Lastly, I definitely recommend getting just a GoPro accessory kit, something that has everything in it. You can get them from about $15 to you know, $50, depending on how much you want to spend, depending on how much you want. Mine, I think, was $20, um, and that just comes with all the accessories that you need, all the attachments, all the different types of mounts. It comes with, mine came with the chest mount, the head mount. It comes with these, which are really nice. This is what's going to mount to your tripod, it's going to mount to the Optica X grip. Uh, it comes with a lot of screws, 
just a lot of different mounts. It's going to come with, depending on the one that you get, mine came with the tripod mount. This is really nice. You can pretty much wrap this around anything you want. Um, you just always have a tripod with you. If you guys watch Casey Neistat's videos, he uses one of these to vlog with, except it's a lot bigger. This one obviously is a lot smaller, but these are just really nice for pretty much anything. If you want to get a time lapse, just to keep your, your footage nice and stable on the ground, it's nice to just have a mini tripod to put wherever you want. So, a GoPro accessory kit is going to come with all that stuff. Like I said, depending on the one that you get. I'll leave a link in the description for the one that I got, but those are just some some of the accessories that I really like to use when I'm filming for my GoPro. Um, and like I said, uh, some of them you can use for any kind of different camera. It doesn't necessarily have to be a GoPro. I use GoPro to film just because I have one. It was cheap, affordable. Um, I am looking to upgrade my camera. Just kind of saving my money to get the one that I really want. It's a little bit more expensive, but... So right now I'm just filming on a GoPro. Um, any video that you guys guys have seen on my channel has been filmed on a GoPro. Um, but yeah. Alright everyone, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you go give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making it. So thank you guys for watching. Start leaving your questions down in the comments section for my Q&A that I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks. I want to answer those questions that you guys have. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.